We are going to go ahead and review the Netgear N600 Wi-Fi cable modem router. Now this thing is a two-in-one. It's a modem and a router. It's the N600, which is actually, um, of course, twice as fast as the, as the N300. It's not the fastest one, but it'll get the job done. And it, again, like I said, it's for cable internet. It's got the 802.11n dual band gigabit protocol. It's got the built in DOCSIS 3. It's a 3.0 DOCSIS 3.0 cable modem. Dual band Wi Fi. Dual band's always a lot faster than just a single band. And it speeds up to 340 megabits per second. Eliminate monthly rental fees, of course. That's what this, this is the whole reason why I got this was so I don't want to have to pay any more rental fees. The one that um, your internet service provider gives you is like 150. It's an N150. It, 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 it sucks. So this is a really good upgrade. Um, it costs around $100, this N600 Wi-Fi cable modem router. So it's, it's the best bang for the buck. I really recommend this. And it works with... Um, Providers like Cablevision, Charter, Cox, Time Warner, Xfinity. I use Xfinity. And it says uh, more. It does use the uh, Genie interface, which I'll show you in a bit. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the specifications on this thing. It's got uh, faster Wi-Fi up to 300 megabits per second. The docks is 3.0, like I said. Gigabit wired, ideal for HD gaming and video. Now the, uh, the hardwired part, uh, of this router I'll show you in a bit it only has two ports only two ports that's what I didn't like about it other routers have five but since it's a two-in-one I guess that's why they only have two all right so dual band like I said uh, and you can plug in your USB flash drive to it and share which is awesome that's the ready share USB access uh, feature that is freaking awesome now this thing is built for large homes, easy install, like I said, it's got the Genie app, push and connect like every other router has, uh, say, uh, say WPS, um, Wi-Fi and power, power on, power savings. Uh, I haven't really messed with this feature yet, but that's awesome that you can do that. It's got parental controls, guest network access and secure Wi-Fi connections like it says here with the WPA2 security encryption alright and it's really like it says uh, eliminate monthly rental fees cost effective two in one uh, I'm, I'm just repeating myself here it's, this thing is just repeating itself what's going on here alright uh, let's go ahead and go to the technical stuff here I think it's on the other side yeah here it is Specifications: dual band, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. You can do 5 gigahertz on this thing, which is awesome. Wi-Fi transmitters for all you uh, techies out there that know what the heck that is. I just I just recognize 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. IPv6 supported, which we won't have for like 20 or 50 years, but okay, that's good. Uh, double firewall protection, denial of service attack prevention, that's good. The push and connect, the easy push button which I talked about earlier. It's got one USB port. That's for the uh, for the EasyShare USB uh, flash drive. Coax port, of course, because it's cable internet. IEEE 802.11, like I, know, like I mentioned, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And the two uh, LAN gigabit ports. And the requirements is that you have cable, of course, works on Windows 7, 8, Vista XP, 2000, Mac, Mac operating systems, and Linux. You gotta have Internet Explorer 5.0, Firefox 2.0, or Safari 1.4. And um, you can use an adapter for it, which I really don't know much about. If you guys know about that, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video for the WNDA 3100 adapter. Alright. So here is the router, this is what it looks like. Really small router, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Two in one, like I said. This is for the WPS, this is for wireless, and 
it's got, like I said, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz connection. The back, like I said, it's only got two uh, Ethernet ports. I wish I had more ports, but whatever, you know, it's, it is what it is. Here's a USB port for uh, your um, your sharing of your files. You just plug in your flash drive, and anybody on the network can actually uh, access those files. You can have movies on there or whatever, and that makes it pretty awesome. I like that. Here's the port for the coax cable, and here's the port for the power. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. How it looks, all plugged in, powered on. So here we can see all the cables connected. And we have the lights showing 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and uh, network traffic and wireless turned on. Here we have the router interface called Network Genie. And from here, you can go ahead and take a look at your wireless connection status. You can take a look at the network map to see how many devices are connected. It also has options for parental control, the ready share feature where you can plug in a USB and everybody can share out of it. And of course, you can go ahead and set up a guest network. So this is what the network map feature will look like when you open it up. It'll show all the devices connected to that router. And as you can tell, I have two PCs, I have my Android phone and uh, my TV in the living room. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm always uploading new videos on new reviews on tech, gadgets, electronics, and lots and lots of stuff. So subscribe guys, like the video, and I'll see you in the next video.